Hi friends, good day. Today, let us look into quotes by Thirumalai Krishnamacharya. Thirumalai Krishnamacharya lived from 18th November 1888 until February 28th, 1989 in India. He was an Indian yoga teacher, Ayurvedic healer and scholar, often referred to as the father of modern yoga. Krishnamacharya is widely regarded as one of the most influential yoga teachers of the 20th century. Let me read Thirumalai Krishnamacharya quotes for you. Before we go in, please subscribe for more videos. Click the bell icon for updates. Let your speech be true and sweet. The moment I say I am a yogi, I am not a yogi. How we feel during the action is the quality of the action. No one is wise by birth, for wisdom results from one's own efforts. Regulate the breath, be happy, link the mind with the Lord in your heart. Master your breath, let the self be in bliss, contemplate on the sublime within you. Action with an unclear mind is in circuitous route. Action with a clear mind is a straight route. Teach what is inside you, not as it applies to you, to yourself, but as it applies to the other. In the practice of yoga, one can emphasize the body, the mind or the self and hence the effort can never be fruitless. All mental distractions arise from the free play of the senses and only through continuing practice can one keep their power in check. Knowing all objects to be impermanent, let not the contact blind you. Resolve again and again to be aware of the self that is permanent. When disturbances that take the mind everywhere but nowhere are contained, then the individual is like a high-class diamond with no blemishes. Rid your body of its impurities. Let your speech be true and sweet. Feel friendship for the world and with humility seek wealth and knowledge. Why do we need money beyond a point? If we are free of ill health, enmity and debt, is that not enough? Too much money only leads to less peace. Never be in debt. Never reside near enemies. Never trap your body through disease. Never forget the Lord with His consort who resides in the heart. In order to discipline the mind, we need to develop a mental practice that clearly reveals the distinction between the nature of spirit and matter. Inhale and God approaches you. Hold the inhalation and God remains with you. Exhale and you approach God. Hold the exhalation and surrender to God. Where is the delusion when truth is known? Where is the disease when the mind is clear? Where is the death? when the breath is controlled, therefore surrender to yoga. Impurities in the heart cause mental agitation, anxiety, lack of direction, anger. This agitation in turn affects the body, sometimes making it impossible to sit still even for a few minutes. Nowadays, the practice of yoga stops with just asanas. Very few even attempt dharana and dhyana that is deeper meditation with seriousness. There is a need to search once more and re-establish the practice and value of yoga in modern times. According to my teacher, trying to calm the agitations of the mind by reflecting on external objects is like trying to get milk from the vatals hanging from the neck of a goat. All seekers of truth are therefore advised to focus instead only on objects that are in the realm of the divine. Please do mention in the comments which quote you like the best. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and do share.